Hello everyone and welcome to the news of Shirok TV. Our headlines are The government announces that investigations will reveal those trying to strike the social fabric in South Kurdistan state. Sudan reaffirms its full cooperation with the African Union on the occasion of anniversary of African Union organization founding. The Ministry of Health announced 156 new cases of the coronavirus and the cases approach 4,000. The member of the Sovereign Council, Shamsuddin Kabashi, announced that investigations will soon reveal those trying to strike the social fabric in South Kurdistan state and attributed the recent events in the state that killed more than 50 citizens and left about 40 wounded to the repercussions of the protracted war in the state. When addressing the popular events meeting in Abu Jbeha, Kabashi reiterated the government's keenness to achieve peace throughout the country through negotiation, stressing that achieving peace represents a strategic goal for the transitional government. In response to a complaint by local citizens about the excesses of the DC forces of the southern opposition, Kabashi stressed that these violations represent a national security issue and promised to transfer them to the Supreme Council for Security and Defense. The Prime Minister, Dr. Abdullah Hamdok, received a delegation from the Sudanese Congress Party in the framework of a series of meetings he initiated for consultation with the forces of freedom and change about the transitional period and how to move towards achieving its goals. The delegation led by the party's leader, Omar Adigir, the party's deputy chairman, Mustur Ahmed Mohammed, Khalid Omar Yusuf, the party's secretary general, Mawahib Megzoub, the deputy political secretary, Samia Ali Hamza, the secretary of the Secretariat for Gender Policy, and Ibrahim Ali Sheikh Abdul Rahman, member of the party's political office. The meeting reviewed a number of issues, including the issue of peace, economy and partnership, the completion of transitional power structures, the strengthening of the alliance of freedom and change forces, and the issue of justice as a central issue in achieving the desired change. Sudan has reaffirmed its cooperation with the African Union in order to move towards completing the march of reform and work for achieving the regional integration that leads to the welfare and progress of the people of the African continent. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has issued today a statement congratulating all the peoples of the African continent. The statement noted that the AU has gone far in fulfilling the hopes and aspirations of the continent's leaders and fathers, founders of the Organization of the African Unity in that historical day, in pursuit of the joint African work for the prevalence of the meanings of peace, security and sustainable development in all parts of the African continent. The chairperson of the African Union, Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa, called for the unconditional removal of sanctions on Sudan. Ramaphosa made his call in a statement delivered on the occasion of Africa Day on Monday. He said that the coronavirus pandemic has exposed the deep inequalities that continue to exist on our continent and across the world. He further called for a comprehensive economic stimulus package for Africa, including debt relief, stressing it was crucial for economic recovery. As we deal with the impact of this pandemic, we repeat our call for the unconditional lifting of sanctions that have been imposed on Zimbabwe and Sudan. Sudan's case has become emblematic, particularly after the ouster of al-Bashir's regime in April 2019. The Minister of Irrigation and Water Resources, Professor Yasser Abbas, held today separate spheres meetings with his Egyptian and Ethiopian counterparts in the presence of two members of the negotiating delegation from each country. The two meetings came according to the outcomes of the meetings held by the Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok recently with his Egyptian and Ethiopian counterparts by assigning water ministers in the three countries to start arrangements to resume negotiations on the Renaissance Dam as soon as possible. The Federal Ministry of Health announced the registration of 156 new cases of the coronavirus in addition to the registration of five deaths, bringing the total number of cases since the beginning of the pandemic in Sudan to 3,976 and deaths to 170. The same 45 cases recovered from the coronavirus, bringing the total number of people recovered to 503. To that, new cases were recorded in the states where Khartoum recorded 142, Jazeera 1 case, South Darfur 5, Kassala 2 cases, White Nile 3, and East Darfur 3 cases. 
The Secretary General of Ansar Association and famous Sudanese Muslim cleric leader, Abdul Mahmoud Abbo, tested positive for COVID-19. Abbo wrote on his social media timeline on Monday that his test result came out positive for coronavirus from people he met last week. My sincere apology to anyone I have met during the last one week up to the eight day. I ask God to forgive me if I have contributed to transmitting the virus to anyone that I met. He said, be blessed and stay safe, Abbo added. The office of the Prime Minister Abdul Hamdok has launched a new page on Facebook to provide information to journalists in particular and the public in general. The office of the Prime Minister aspires to increase its link with journalists and media professionals and appeals for providing comments and opinions to develop the page and to increase the degree of realization and ability of the information between the Prime Minister's office and the press. And now we remind you with the headlines. The government announces that investigations will reveal those trying to strike the social fabric in South Kurdistan state. Sudan reaffirms its full cooperation with the African Union on the occasion of anniversary of African Union organization founding. The Ministry of Health announced 156 new cases of the coronavirus and the cases approach 4,000. Well, everyone, that was everything for tonight. See you tomorrow.